Hello, it's that time of the year, a Christmas season, where we spread joy and cheer to the less fortunate. Where is Vivian is part of a group known as Kind Hearts, where we contribute uh, money on a monthly basis. And uh, we, this money is channeled towards charitable courses. So today we are in Kiambu County. As you remember from my previous video, we were at uh, Mulot in uh, Bomet County, where we were able to spread cheer and joy. So today we are here at Gracia's, uh, Gracia State Special School. Uh, this school purely focuses on children who have special needs such as autism. It's, a, it's fairly a young school and we are happy to donate a few of uh, some items that is going to benefit them. For example, bedding, clothing, shoes and foodstuff among other items. So guys, we are going to be spending this uh, beautiful afternoon with these particular children. Come along with us. So my name is Isaac. I'm the leader of the team. Uh, as I was telling you, kind of that's how we started. Uh, and this is what we do best. And it's a blessing to us. We feel satisfied when you visit such a home and you come and share it over to Konaya. It might not be for long, maybe for two days, but at least Nashkur Mungu for that. So I'm the leader of the team. My name is Rose. My name is Simon Kasiemo, a member of Kind Hearts. Yeah. I'm Jerry, a member of Kind Hearts. Paul Wasumu, a member of Kind Hearts as well. My name is Vivian Kemboy from Kind Hearts. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Samuel Ngunya, a member of Russia. Mm, how we came to learn about Nancy's place is through one of our members, Rose. Because we always encourage the members that uh, if you get that home, so we do a pre-visit. And basically the pre-visit is just to identify ourselves, to get to know the place. Because we don't want to be in the wrong place yeah. at, the right, at the right time. Mm -hmm. So that is why we always do a pre-visit. But uh, obviously Rose had, had done the pre-visit and the team was comfortable and we set a date so that we can visit. So, and I thank God that we've made it. At least we've made it. At least we've made it. And I'm Hagrid. And I'm Hagrid. But I thank you. That's what I'm called. Yeah. For making it possible and for the prayer being answered. Yeah, my name is Nancy. Uh, how I came to learn about special needs children. I started dealing with special needs children when I was a very young girl. I was 16 years old. I don't know whether I was about this. I was 16 years old, in the village here. Yeah? Then we find a child and then we are like, then we just go and help the child. When I say, here I'm taught, talk, I'm taught, I communicate. You get surprised, I'm taught, 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 I'm so I continued and continued. Then one of our distant relatives, the mother had stroke. I was in a day school. So after school, I used to go and massage the mama, uh, do some exercises, and therefore the son <coughs> realized I have something in me. So after form four, I won't mention the year. <laughs> you can see. You can see the year. <laughs> um, he asked me if I would like to work in a special needs school. He comes up, what is that? On Monday, let's go. So we went together to Jakarta Special School. I worked there as a volunteer for six months. Then they saw the interest uh, that I have in the passion. Then I was employed by the board of the school. I worked there for two years. Then I resigned. After resigning, I went to Nairobi School. This one is which is at Kabete. There yeah, I was not comfortable. Actually, even at time, they didn't end. I didn't even tell them quite. Mm -hmm. I just felt that <coughs> I'm not comfortable with the special with the younger students. But after Kukaka Kidogo, my aunt 
knew about a rehabilitation center for street girls. I got a chance there. I was very much comfortable with the street girls. There I worked there for six months. I got to there to relieve a lady. And I was like, wow, at least I've done something there. Counseling, reading, prison, worship, guiding the girls and all that, teaching them uh, in their classroom, set up and all that. Then, twice of Brika I got married. Mm -hmm. Then, after getting married, after my first born, then I was like, I think I've, I've left something. So I thought that like, now I'm starting looking for a job. And my dear, I was not even trained. But the teaching was within me. <coughs> so again, I started going to the village where the specialist children are. And then finally, Osho Academy, they wanted to start a specialist school. But they didn't have any knowledge on how to start it. So they went to Jakarada Special School to get a teacher from there. By those days, it was only Jakarada Special School, which was known. So when they went there, they were told that they can't get a teacher from there. But there was a lady who used to work there. And she was very much dedicated to her work and she has a passion for special needs children. So they were told that to look for that lady. Once they get her from Pereke Osho Academy, they were given a duration of time. Now when the time was almost over, that's when the someone got me. Then I went to Osho Academy, I started the department, that was in 1999. I resigned last year. And Osho Academy I worked for 22 years. And what made me work there is the Okay, let me say it was a comfortable zone. Mm -hmm. And also, I got my training from there. When I started to work the department, the front year that is when Kise were starting the in-surface courses. So I was a pioneer of Kise Institution for the Distance Learning. I did diploma course, then after diploma, I did psychology. Psychology, I was pushed by the parents because I really wanted to know why the parents are in denial. Then I said, for me to help this child, First, I have to help the parent because the parent has to accept first that this is my child and for me to be in a position to help the child, I must accept it. So before you handle the child, you have to handle the parent. Okay. Then I did the college of counseling, the diploma. I love to and Then what motivated me most at Osho is having a child, a child who couldn't write anything. In a duration of time, the child sat right. Mm -hmm. A child was not speaking, the child started speaking. A child was not walking, the child started walking. Then I was like, what? And then there's something in me. So then I was like, although I was still looking for green parts, just then, like in, I used to get regrets. Mm -hmm. Then I continued, then I was like, I'm never going for another job. But I told God, God, after Osho, may I have my own school where I can, buy, I can impact now my society. Mm -hmm. Whereby those children, whom are being integrated by the society, they, I can be able to change their life and they become someone in that society. I never knew it was that difficult. It is not an easy job, especially when you, are, you have studied something and then all of a sudden there is a COVID, you have to close the school, you're not very sure of what you're doing, you have uh, put all your money in the business, nothing is coming up. Uh, and the children that you're getting, because of how our society is, the parents think that we have donors. So you're getting students who are not even paying the school fees. Mm -hmm. But I was like, okay, let me go for that. Uh, for me to start the school, as I said, I started having the plans of starting special school that was in 2012. But I was not very sure where to start. Then I had a vision between Mutaiga and Ridgeways. Then I was like, Ridgeways? Houses. Where do I even get a house? Mm. And I said, God, you said it. Live with your hero, back a regions. Quite a good after. Now, I pray so I can have a school. Uh, 2018, I started now <coughs> pushing for the new for a spray. The houses that I was getting, it was 250 per month. Mm. So, again, at 200, the list was 150. Then I was like, I will give up. Then, all of us, after 2018, now we went to 2019. 2019, I had a vision about this area, but I never knew where the devil was. I knew at least about Raka, but the devil, I was not very sure. So at the devil, someone called me. I told him, me, I don't know even the devil, and I don't know even how to come to Raka. You do this. How? You tell me, you give me the direction, I meet you at Raka, then from there, 
I'm on your heart. So I can let up, I can let If I don't let this press, he can take me to his house. I see now how the environment is. Then I decide whether to start school. When I came here, I left the place. Mm -hmm. And then the owner was not there. The, the museum was not there, so I was told that I have to wait for two days for Mze to come and then we have a conversation. I met the son. So when I met the son, uh, when we talked with the son, he told Mze how the mission is and all that. Then they said the owner of the house is not in Kenya, so you have to give us time. Yeah. So when the son was told about the kind of a school I want to start, he said if she wants to start a special school, that house, it is hers. Even if someone comes, it's for that lady. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, okay. Now I got the premises. Now where do I get the students? <coughs> Still in a vision. To Kiambu, to a certain house. I was like, now where is this house? Then I went and met my sister. I told her I wanted to take me to a certain place. And it is this house. Can you take me there? I can be like so when she took me there, exactly how it was in the vision. That's how it was. It's a place where by Atopia Bukaiti, Unashido Nakawa. This mama akonata to a little special. She has he, she has one who is um I think I know she's about thirty nine years and now the one whom we already have who is twenty who is eighteen years, twenty years right now. And now I took that one. I told her, I've come from a shadow. We want to start a school for special needs school, and then she was like, God, <coughs> mm -hmm. So we started with one with two students. I spoke to her, then she spoke to two more parents. It was on a it was on a Christmas of 2019. Then 2020, I told them to come to a direction, give them the direction of this place. They came. When they came on a Monday, I wanna go to mattresses. So by 2019, we had already started our canasari. Then I did it some peace. I gave up those children <coughs> and I left them with no child. Yeah? Uh, so when they noted that there's there are some two mattresses, wakareto watoto wakanya minu hot, katweli na watoto. Sikuna mattresses, tutamina ugaya siku, bili. Alap the other day, tutajit hot. That's how it started. Do you have a special curriculum or is a curriculum from the government that's being followed? Yes, there is. We have a curriculum. I think it is with the teachers. We have a design curriculum for the specialist children. Uh, we are registered with the Ministry of Education, although now we are waiting for the full registration. Mm -hmm. The files and the documents are in the Ministry of Education office here. Yeah. So when I called them, they told us they have to teach children because right now, because of the <coughs> and all that, it doesn't mean they have done I mean, everything we have to teach mm -hmm. So that's where we are. Uh, the one thing I can tell you is uh, when there's obedience, there's always be provision. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as long as you're obeying it, uh, even in the toughest season, mm -hmm. even those classes you see, just go with God. But remember, uh, sharing is a matter again. Just, <coughs> just go. And uh, that's what God wants. Obey. Mm -hmm. uh, when there's obedience, provision will never come back. You'll be shocked how. And I think from just the way you're speaking, God does wonders with hearts like you. Hearts like have very great visions, but they are broken and very humble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, God will sustain you with your media. The idea of having the training the student the skill was for them to make them have a better life. Was the mechanic too? They are <coughs> just special. They cannot do anything. They, they are meaningless in the society. Mm -hmm. For me, is to make their life more meaningful mm -hmm. to the society by taking through them the, the training. Those ones who can be able to do tirari. We have machines, we train them on tirari. Those who are good in carpentry, uh, mechanics, such things. That's the machine that I have. And also by taking to talking to companies, we see those ones who can be able to employ the specialist children after creating their awareness. What you're doing, also you're ministering to us and making people mm -hmm. who come and visit you. So means to it's not easy what you're doing, but I think I'd just like to appreciate you for the good work that you're doing. Yes, sir. 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 Y
Ndio hiyo chakula nimeweza kutayarisha. Okay. Okay. So that's how big the dormitories are. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. They're asking about the rivers. Yeah. What's the number? Yeah, so what's the number? How many people? Yes. What is the limit? Okay, my limit is uh, for now 30. Like it once we expand, maximum of 50. Yeah. So you can see money, you can manage 30. Yes. <laughs> so this is our playground. She's very good when it comes to bleeding. Mm. Uh, we have another one who's very good in weaving. Now this yeah. one oh, and wow. this one, and she's going to also make this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are the schools that are training them. They, they make even the key holders. And now we have a boy, mm. a gentleman who is very good in these wall decorations. Continue praying. We we'll also continue praying for you. Uh, as you strong, you are able. We are not And it's good. May God bless you. Yeah.
and Hesse more about you. Even for your two digital year to support the mother. May God always be with you. It's really touched by your story. It's really what you're doing is really encouraging. There's a lot of you've sacrificed that for the things that you're starting, the challenges that you've gone through, and we are really happy that you've faced them. With all those challenges that you've gone through, you've been able to overcome them. And uh, with Kind Hearts Group, uh, you know, uh, them also contributing whatever they had on a monthly basis until we are able to, you know, deliver this. Uh, we thank God and uh, we also thank the members for the individual support and, you know, contribution. And uh, we hope, as I you know, we'll discuss later as a group, if later on we can also continue to, to support in one way or another. But uh, today is a really beautiful day and that also it helps us to look back with our lives. You know, sometimes we can complain yeah. here and there, but uh, some most people are having it tough than what we, what we, are, what we, are, we are going through. So for me, it's really to appreciate the team and also to appreciate you and to encourage you to please don't lose hope. And uh, I know even though you are talking to that young boy, he's going to end up into, to be someone big in the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end of the day, it's going to be when you, you know that small step that you took when you were starting. Mm -hmm. So as we we'll continue to pray for you, and hopefully we can we, we can still come back again. Mm -hmm. So Asante Sana. Mm -hmm.